So in this tutorial, we are going to look about uh, the traceability between the test basis and the test work products. So let's get started and see what exactly traceability means in uh, the testing or software testing. So what is traceability in testing? Um, so traceability in software testing if, uh, is the ability to trace work items across the development lifecycle. Uh, in general as well, if you are not able to, so for example, you have multiple items uh, or multiple work products and you are not able to trace those items or they are sort of pretty independent. Uh, however, they should have been linked together. So, for example, if you're doing any project, be it, you know, like software development project or any other product project, um, there needs to be a particular life cycle and in that life cycle you will get certain um, documentation or certain work that needs to be done and move to the next phase or ne next life cycle. Uh, now there needs to be a pretty clear linkage between these phases and how can you have that linkage is basically through the traceability. Now coming back to software testing it's kind of similar thing. Um, traceability is ability to trace the work items so whatever work items you are producing in a particular phase or cycle or iteration whether you are able to trace those work items back to the parent or any other um, work items in that particular life cycle so this is in general known as traceability and traceability how does it work it works by linking two or more work items so basically if we talk about uh, software testing it's linking your test cases to the requirement because your requir requirement come initially right so what you, what exactly you're going to build uh, that is what you are getting as a requirement it could be software requirement specification document or it could be user stories and from those requirement or user stories you start to produce the test cases now linking these test cases back to those parent requirements that you have got in the requirement phase is known as traceability and that's how you achieve traceability in software testing now what all might be included in traceability so in software testing when you are preparing the traceability matrix um, what all is included so requirement or user stories are the first thing that you need to um, trace back so any uh, test case that you are writing for those user stories or requirement need to link back to those user stories or requirement so traceability matrix includes your requirements your user stories uh, if you're in agile development project um, and then it requires the test cases uh, it also uh, might have the test runs and the defect. So these are some of the items that might be there in the traceability matrix and should be there ideally. Uh, and if there are any other work items um, in, in your project, uh, you can produce or you can provide that um, in, in linkage in the traceability matrix as well because traceability matrix helps you a lot um, over the course of the project to see what all coverage has happened in the testing life cycle and uh, what all risks have been addressed already uh, so what are the types of traceability test matrix okay so the traceability test matrix can be categorized into forward traceability backward traceability or it is sometimes known as reverse traceability and bi-directional traceability so forward traceability is pretty straightforward so when you have your requirement and then for those requ requirement you write the test cases and then those test cases map to the requirement that you are writing those test cases against so linking your test cases to the requirements is forward tra traceability um, if you are in agile development project then linking your test cases to the user stories that you get in the uh, project that's what forward traceability is backward traceability or it is also known as the reverse traceability is basically ensuring that there is no test or there is no artifact produced um, which doesn't map to the to any of the requirements so it basically helps you to 
make sure that there is no scope change or there is no artifact be it you know like the code that is being developed or there isn't any extra test case or the number of test case that do not map to the uh, to any of the requirements so if there is any sort of work that is happening that cannot be mapped to the requirement or use cases then that is not what has been asked for and uh, that makes clear that the work that is happening or the number of test cases that are being added and cannot be mapped to any of the original requirement or use cases doesn't need to be there so backward traceability helps you to ensure that any work item that you are producing in the life cycle can be traced back to the uh, requirement or user stories and you are not uh, extending the scope of the work by just creating additional test cases which cannot be mapped to the requirement or use cases now coming back to the third traceability test matrix uh, bi-directional traceability is the traceability um, matrix which is which identifies if for example you are doing the testing and you came up with a defect right now because of that defect um, you need to change some of the requirements so there is a requirement change that might be required because of that defect now what scope change is required or how much um, the um, change or how, how big the change is required in the requirement because of that defect so uh, this sort of traceability is known as bi-directional traceability which maps uh, the defect to the requirement change and then how many test cases are written as part of that change in the requirement so any linkage from the defect to the requirement that uh, needs to be changed or updated and the new test cases that need to be written as part of that requirement change is known as bi-directional traceability um, now coming back to the uh, next slide which is uh, benefits of having traceability so there are lots and lots of benefits of having traceability and if you don't have traceability in your test project or any project that you're working in uh, it's going to be a nightmare to see how you are progressing and uh, even to report and to see basically what all risks have been addressed and what coverage is achieved so having a traceability is very important and there are lots of benefits of having traceability so first thing is testing becomes auditable right so you can audit what is happening in your testing life cycle how many requirements you have got what all test cases are linked to those requirement what is the coverage of that particular requirement testing coverage of that requirement with those test cases that you have written and is there any possibility to add more test cases to if there is any missing um, coverage or are there any redundant test cases that need that are not necessarily required and can be removed um, to get the uh, similar sort of coverage so this helps you so traceability helps you a lot uh, and makes your testing auditable the next thing is it helps you to analyze the impact of changes so for example uh, uh, the bi-directional uh, traceability that we discussed if there is any change in the requirement so there is a defect which uh, arise and because of that defect there need to be a requirement change now because of that requirement change how many new test cases or how much rework needs to be done so this traceability helps you to analyze the amount of impact or what impact needs uh, happened because of that particular defect or because of that particular change so for example you are changing a requirement and that change is uh, that change to test that particular change you need another 50 test cases then that, this gives you a bit of idea uh, about uh, whether the change is big or small so that helps you in analyzing the impact of the changes then it all help, also helps in meeting the IT governance criteria um, so there is IT governance and it helps you in the governance criteria that you are basically com um, compliant with all the um, governance criteria then it also provides the status visibility of test bases which uh, requirement got passed which failed and which are in progress so basically 
it gives you the visibility in terms of um, requirement uh, say for example you have a particular requirement and then that requirement has 50 test cases if all those 50 test cases got passed then that particular requirement is passed so it gives you uh, the visibility of the test basis and then it also provides information to assess the product quality and project progress against business goal so how the quality is so for example your product has uh, 50 requirements defined and out of those 50 requirements 30 have almost completely passed test cases and uh, have been covered so it gives you visibility that another 20 requirements have uh, defect in is uh, in those and how critical those requirements are and those can be uh, really helpful uh, to see the product quality and assess the product quality so these are some of the benefits of having traceability and traceability metrics in your project thank you